You're gonna be able to hear mucus in my lungs because there's mucus in my lungs. Like, it is what it is. Good morning! Mary is just putting up day 20. What is it? A sheep. A sheep. A sheep. A sheep, a sheep, sheep is, is on fire. What? What? Good morning, Should we guys. reenact what we did right before the camera came out? Yeah. Are you serious? I think so. Because okay, they need to see the behind the scenes of this is who we are. You think... Well, We're getting real serious, right? Yeah, we yes. are. We are like just the most serious people ever. <laughs> so, so you were on this side. Something like this. We, okay, this is what we do. Like I came into the room and I was just like. This was not planned at all. No, Has no context at all. No context. I just was singing. Blue bitty 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 blue and that's what we do. We do hey, bloobity, bloobity. hey Ollie. Bloobity, 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 bloobity. Bloobity. There's the three musketeer. All right, we're gonna go musketeer. do some recording. That's why we're wearing the exact same clothes as we were yesterday. Yep. Cause we're gonna try to record the song and hopefully we'll get it set up before my voice and my body can't sing anymore. Cause that happened yesterday. Whew, does this look familiar? We have come back to the church with all of our equipment set up and we're gonna try to record again. Ollie brought his turkey, his squeaky turkey today. So hopefully he won't choose to squeak it during the recording, but maybe that's his little part he's gonna play in the, in the music. <laughs> I'm thinking I didn't sleep too great last night because in the middle of the night, my Dexcom kept beeping and vibrating and alarming and it was saying I was 55 and I checked my blood sugar and I was 80, so I knew I wasn't like low. Um, basically it malfunctioned in the middle of the night. So <laughs> I stopped the sensor in the middle of the night and pulled the Dexcom off and went back to sleep. So then this morning we put on a new one and I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna be able to maneuver the plunger, whatever the applicator. Um, so I put the whole thing on by myself just to see if I could do it, like if I could torque my body and do it, except I didn't push the actual thing, Peter did it. And I can't decide, I think maybe if I put it on this way, so I put it like right here on my back area, um, and yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out, cause I did all the steps except for the pushing and the whatever. So maybe next time I will figure out a way to, yeah. I think if I put it on facing this way, I could do it. Yeah, I think. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. Now I'm actually pretty stinking annoyed. Like, legit. I spent an hour doing my vest and airway clearance this morning and <clears throat> coughing all throughout the day, clearing my lungs, clearing my lungs, and then we come to the church to try to record this song, and literally, I have a tissue and a mask, because I had a, a surgical mask in my purse, that I'm spitting mucus into because my lungs are not clear. And like, every time I start singing, mucus comes loose in my lungs, and... <clears throat> It's so annoying. And it like Nowhere chokes me. Yeah. But I guess that's me. I guess you're gonna be able to hear mucus in my lungs because there's mucus in my lungs. Like it is what it is. But it was kind of annoying. Okay, a lot annoying. So we have just been like learning a little bit more about recording music and how to do it, so, um, yeah, Peter's a self-taught type of guy, so we unplugged this mic and plugged his guitar in, and now he's gonna try to record the guitar part, and that's what we're doing. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. And making some broccoli. 
We have been so enjoying broccoli recently. <clears throat> Peter made up a new way to make it. So first you steam it for a few minutes, then you drain the water, and then you put butter. Yeah. Then you put butter in the pan and salt and pepper, and then let them like get browned. I mean, I guess it's nothing crazy, but it sure does taste crazy, crazy good. Um, so we are making some broccoli and we're gonna eat leftover pork and whatever we find in the fridge. So we are home now and exhausted. But we need to get ready for our Bible study tonight. And <clears throat> all the things. Hey guys. Any words of wisdom? I think it's something really clever to say. If it's gonna be spicy, go all the way. <laughs> no, isn't that what like Jack Black said? I think so. <laughs> <coughs> all right. Now we are leaving. Headed to Bible study. <coughs> uh, some friends are hosting it tonight, and we're headed over to their house. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Peace out, Girl Scout. We're home from Bible study, and I was like really not feeling well at Bible study, just like out of breath and just not feeling great. But now it was just a really good time. Human connection is really important. And when you get to have human connection, it can reinvigorate you. Agreed. Agreed. That's why we call it refuel. Oh yeah, our Wednesday night Bible study is called refuel because it refuels us. So now, I was so exhausted before we went and during I was exhausted, but now I feel like, yes! So maybe I will do the dishes or something what? or Maybe, maybe all, maybe now my lungs are clearer and we should actually try to sing that song. <laughs> oh, man. I think we're just kind of going to make it work with what we've got. There's no perfection in life. Mm -hmm. And striving for perfection is not a real thing because there's no perfection in life. And I have to be okay with that. It's hard. It's hard to be like, well, it is what it is. But that's reality. And so... So now, I should do all these dishes. Okay. Hey y'all. It is, what's today, December, December 20th. Wow, that's crazy. Um, that means it's five days till Christmas. I have a little bit of a sore throat, which is kind of a bummer. I'm hoping I can keep any germs and sickness at bay, so. I'm gonna have a cup of tea and some honey in it and I, ho I hope I don't lose my voice but okay this is weird I was gonna do the advent calendar with you guys but it's not here where is it aha I found it hiding over here day 20 let's see what we got there we go Ooh, this is is this a Shepherd, uh, that's probably, it's probably a shepherd, don't you think? Yeah, he goes with the sheep there. Awesome. Just five more days. And nothing beats tea in a Christmas mug. Well, actually, something does coffee, but when your throat's sore, tea it is. What were you doing down there? Well, first, I made a cup of tea. Second, I did the advent calendar with them. Guess who it was today? I don't know. It was me. So first, I'll come in as a shepherd. <gasps> Have we told that story? I don't know. I don't know. I think we, we should tell that story. Okay. Okay, so. Let's go back in time to the summer of 2005. Oh. Otherwise known as... The, the summer, summer of, of love. love. 
the summer where we went on a trip with our youth group and Peter and I were paired to be team teachers. Oh yeah. How perfect. We were friends, but um, it was after that week that we became special friends. Yep. <laughs> so during that week we were planning our lessons for the next day like the day before we would plan the next day and um, we we're doing like uh, Bible stories and lessons with kids and so we wanted to get creative and um, <laughs> mix it up a little so we decided to make like a skit is that yeah. how it was yeah a skit with shepherds. Yep, we were planning. They're like, where's the story what? going? <laughs> we were planning <laughs> this lesson um, and we planned that I would act as a shepherd. I, and, 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 but here's the thing we were <laughs> young and in love. We were. And we were highly distracted from our task of preparing the lesson and so we would <laughs> kept getting off track we would just talk and stare into each other's eyes and we'd get off track and to get back on track to preparing our lesson we would say so you're gonna come in as a shepherd yep we said it a lot of times to try to get back on track and it kind of became a joke so you'll come in as a shepherd was Too like much. our our tagline yeah. and so every once in a while I'll say to Mary but the, the reason I said in the advent calendar it was me was because on Friday of this week we're having a special candlelight carol service and I'm gonna come in as a ah! shepherd <laughs> you're gonna fulfill all those, all those... wait what? yeah 12 years 12, those 12 years, years 12 years later yeah. I feel like you're getting I, a little risky. I, yeah, I know, risky. Um, I've been preparing this message for 12 years. Yes. I'm going to mm -hmm. come in like a shepherd. That is funny. <coughs> I love it. I love you. And I love you. Mm. I was just going to say that. That's because we always say that. I love it and I love you. Um, We are going to turn on our British baking show. It's our jam. And... British baking jam. Jam. Jam and sponge. No, here's the thing. People told us how cool this show is. And we started watching it. And we were like, what's all the hype about this show? And then for some reason, it became our nighttime routine to watch the British Baking Show. I think show. it's because it puts us to sleep. Yeah, it's kind of a mindless... But we've Quirky. gotten... You get to know the personalities yeah. of the people in the show. I like... I, I love it. I, in reflection, I've been on a journey... Of being like, what is this? Sh what's so cool about this show? But now I really like it, and I think, yeah, it's unlike any other cooking show. I think. Yeah, it's really, really riveting. Riveting puts us <laughs> just to like us. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for coming on this crazy adventure with us. And as, as always, always, we, we will, will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. Don't worry. I'll leave here. <laughs> he is tired out. So, Ollie, say goodnight to the people. Good night, guys. We will see.